Where is Armageddon? Hypothesis Armageddon refers to the city of Jerusalem where, during the end times, Yahweh's Messiah Jesus will descend from heaven onto the Mount of Olives to destroy enemies that will have invaded Israel. The only mention of Armageddon occurs in the book of Revelation. Demonic spirits go abroad to the kings of the whole world, to assemble them for battle on the great day of God the Almighty. And they assembled them at the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. Written in Greek, the text of Revelation employs the word Armageddon, a transliteration from Hebrew consisting of two words, Har, Mount, and Megiddon, a place name. However, the geographical place called Medigo is not a mountain, but a plain, as Zechariah foresaw. On that day, I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. On that day, the morning in Jerusalem will be as great as the morning for Hadadrimon in the plain of Mejdo. There are two ways in which to transliterate the Hebrew original of the word Megiddo. In both cases we remove the final N in English. We ignore the vowels, for Hebrew words are formed around a three-consonant root. Firstly, we can transcribe M-G-D from Mem Gimel Dalef, written from right to left, assuming that the Hebrew behind the G was Gimel, a voiced velar stop. This presupposition leads many to believe that it is either the plain of Megiddo or an ancient tell located to the southwest of that plain. A tell is a type of archaeological mound created by human occupation and abandonment of a geographical site over many centuries. Secondly, it is equally possible to transcribe M, inverted apostrophe, D, from Mem Chain Dalif, assuming that the Hebrew letter behind the inverted apostrophe was Chain, a voiced pharyngeal fricative. In this case, the word medigo represents the Hebrew term mohed, assembly, and harmageddon, the Hebrew phrase har mohed, the mount of assembly, evoking Isaiah chapter 14. How you are fallen from heaven, O day star, son of dawn! You said in your heart, I will sit on the mount of assembly in the far reaches of the north, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, I will make myself like the most high. But you are brought down to Sheol, to the far reaches of the pit. Thus, Armageddon represents a place where the Most High God dwells, ruling over the invisible world of spirit beings. But where precisely lie the far reaches of the north? Great is Yahweh, and greatly to be praised, in the city of our God. His holy mountain, beautiful in elevation, is the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, in the far north, the city of the great king. The expression far north in ancient Near Eastern religion was the northern Mount Bashan, the supposed dwelling place of the demoniac god Bachal, the competitor of Yahweh, the only true God. But in the book of Revelation, the extreme north has shifted to Mount Zion in Jerusalem, where the end-time enemies of Israel will be defeated by Yahweh in the person of his Messiah, Jesus. Then Yahweh will go out and fight against those nations 
as when he fights on a day of battle. On that day, his feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives, that lies before Jerusalem on the east. And on that day I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. The inhabitants of Jerusalem, when they look on me, on him whom they have pierced, they shall mourn.